So you want to create a website and you know that you need web hosting. You search around and you see that companies are selling shared hosting, WordPress hosting, cloud hosting, virtual private servers, server clusters, dedicated servers. Some of these are managed, some of these are unmanaged and the prices differ greatly. Boy. Boy. Does it get complicated fast? So in this video, I'm going to explain web hosting differences in such a way that anyone can understand and make a good decision. The very first thing that I feel is very important and I want to mention first is that if you're looking for web hosting, don't limit yourself to the same company. Always look for companies that specialize in different technologies. For example, if you're looking for shared hosting, look for companies that specialize in shared hosting. If you're looking for a VPS, you need companies that specialize in VPS. Same goes with cloud. The same way you don't buy shoes at the grocery store, the same way you shouldn't buy a virtual private server from a shared web hosting company, because you're getting an inferior product. I'll leave my classification of which companies offer what kind of services in the description. Imagine one tall building, let's call it a shared hosting tower, that has 700 rooms inside of it. Every room has a person living in it, with their own personal goals, but all rooms share the same electricity bill, the same lift, and the same water supply. The benefit is that you can live in a nice big building that has everything taken care for you, you just pay rent. But essentially, you're splitting the bill with 700 other people and all of you get an affordable place to live. And this is exactly how shared web hosting works. You get a smaller piece of a bigger server and every user on that server shares resources. You can get good shared web hosting plans from $1 to around $4 a month. And if you expect no more than 20 to 30 people per day on your site, you're pretty much good to go. However, there are some downsides as well. For example, every single user on the server is sharing the exact same IP address. So if you're sending emails, every single user is sending emails from the same address. Let's say even 10 of the 700 people start spamming. That means everyone's gonna suffer and everyone's emails goes to spam, even if you didn't do anything. Because as far as Google is concerned, you're all guilty. And there's another big downside if you want to scale your website resources for a limited time. Shared web hosting isn't really scalable, so it could cost you three or four times the regular cost if you want to scale up. If I would go back to my housing analogy, imagine you want to get two rooms because your friend is visiting for the weekend. But the landlord says, well, there's a one room per person limit. If you want to get two rooms, you need to move to another building where everyone gets two rooms. You try to explain that you only need the extra space for two days, but he won't listen. I recommend shared web hosting to people that just need a simple website to be on the internet. You're not planning to build a store, you're not sending out emails, you're not building a community. You just need for something to be online where people can come, visit, take a look, and then leave. Think of it exactly like your room. You can have 100 people visit you in one day if they come and go, but most likely if all 100 try to fit in at once, you'll have some issues. Or if you try running an actual store from your room, there would be lines all across your hallway, everyone would be bumping into each other, everyone's knocking over your products, stuff is breaking all around, it's chaos. If you think shared hosting is enough for you, for people on a seriously strict budget, I recommend Hostinger. You can get started for $1. However, if you got a little bit bigger budget, invest a couple of extra dollars and go for the best shared hosting company on the market, SiteGround. This will allow you to have a much nicer looking and bigger room compared to Hostinger. If shared hosting is one building with 700 rooms in it, VPS hosting would be a piece of land. Let's call it VPS land divided into 700 pieces. You're still sharing the piece of land with other people, but you have much more control over what's going on on it. Because you're only getting a piece of land, you can build your website as small 
or as big as you want. While you couldn't build a shopping mall inside your room, you can definitely build one using a virtual private server. The way a virtual private server works is instead of getting a preset amount of resources that you can't really change, you get to choose how many resources you want and you can even change that number while your website is already running. Going back to my housing analogy, with a VPS, one person could be taking up 50 pieces of land for a shopping mall, another one could have 10 pieces of land for a museum, and another one could have 4 pieces of land for a house. Everyone doesn't have to be equal here, like with shared hosting. Okay, so at this point, I hope everything's a little bit clearer and you're starting to get the point of this. So I want to touch on another very important subject. The VPS is actually split into two categories. Managed VPS, where you get a lot of help setting everything up, and unmanaged VPS, where you basically got to do everything yourself. Again, back to our housing analogy, imagine you bought one piece of VPS land and you want to build your house now. If you get managed VPS, the VPS land owner would give you contacts of a construction company. He would also make sure that the internet, heat, electricity and water is taken care of once your house is built. And he would even give you various tools and contacts needed or even help you out himself if your house requires that. If you buy unmanaged VPS, you would get nothing but the piece of land. You would need to do everything yourself and buy your own tools, build your house, do the plumbing, install of the essentials. Basically, you bought the land, you do what you want with it, but you won't get any help. That's why I always recommend buying managed VPS, even if you are tech savvy. Because yeah, sure, it's a little bit more expensive, not by that much to be honest, and it's gonna save you a lot of time. In my opinion, managed VPS is actually the best way to host your website in 2021. And it can be as cheap as $10 per month. For this, I recommend you go with Scala Hosting. They specifically specialize in managed cloud VPS. You can have as big of a project as you want. If you want more power, you can always scale that or scale it down if it's not needed anymore. They have 24-7 support, plenty of free tools and are overall a top tier provider for a good price. By the way, you see here it says they offer cloud VPS. What's cloud though? Finally, we have cloud hosting which is actually really, really, really similar to a VPS to a point where people even confuse the two. But there's one major difference. While a virtual private server takes resources from just one server, cloud VPS actually pools resources from multiple servers. A good way to explain this would be if you're using a virtual private server and one component in that server breaks, everything goes offline because it's taking resources from just one server. But cloud hosting is actually pulling resources from different computers, so if one component breaks, it just replaces that with a component from another computer. It's much more reliable. Imagine if you have one home, but electricity to your home is provided from 10 different available sources. Well, when one fails, it just switches to another one. And this way, you always have electricity. Again, if you're looking for this kind of hosting, I recommend Scala Hosting as they generally have the lowest prices and the best product. I hope this video will help you make a better buying decision. I'll leave discount links together with my categorization of which companies are best at what in the description down below. My name is Emmet. good luck hosting your websites.